Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm James and you're watching Blue Dog Aquatics. Now, today we are talking about something that's very important in not only the reptile, freshwater, and saltwater world. Um, this is something that's very crucial and as you've seen from the title of this video, do I need a quarantine? And the answer is 100% yes. Now, the reason I say that, so if you have let's say more obviously if you have one tank it's hard to do i would and your quarantine as you can see i mean these are only 10 gallons your quarantine does not need to be as big as your other tank um let's say you have a 75 gallon and your your quarantine only ha needs to be like a 10 or a 20 depending on what type of fish depending on what type of plants you need now here in the store, we have reptile quarantines, we have saltwater quarantine, and we have freshwater quarantine. Now, before we just had, I mean, we still have our snake rack over here, which this quarantines all of our snakes, uh, keeps them at a good solid temperature. And I remember I did a video a while back on the quarantine, but I wanted to show you guys it revised. Um, and you just want different options. Now, let's say you have lots of different reptiles or lots of different tanks. Um, it's always good practice. No matter where you get your reptile from, you want a quarantine tank because you, especially with snakes, you don't want to introduce snakes close proximity to your other snakes in case it may have come in with parasites or with uh, mites or what have you. It's always good practice to keep them separate and that's what we're doing here i mean we have all of our main display tanks out here but like i tell everybody and if you've seen our facebook we this is our quarantine room we keep all of our animals separate from everybody else until they're eating drinking and going to the bathroom and they're overall healthy now we have a Salcata in here that is 100% quarantined and that's because he came in he was thriving he was doing good he went out on the floor and then the power went out and he got cold and even though the building itself was holding a solid temperature Salcata got too cold and led to respiratory issues and all that and so he got pulled back off the floor and got put back in here just so we can get him better because now he's not eating and he's just he's hanging in there and uh we have our vet dr Merkwan. he is doing uh uh treating this guy right here and so um please pull for him he's, he's doing better but He's still not on the up and up yet. So he will remain in quarantine until he's good to go and gets the okay by doc. Now, these guys, these messy little guys, and you can notice that we just have paper towels in the bottom. We don't have anything else. And that's because we want to minimize as much as possible all the variables and keep it just as sterile as possible. These guys do not know how to keep a clean setup. As you can see, they've destroyed their entire setup. And these Hokatas are a little bit older, um, but they did just come in. And so we're letting them go through the quarantine process. And once we have a tank available on, on the floor, then they'll get moved out because these guys are solid and eating and drinking and doing everything that they should be. You can also see up here, we have the UV, uh, UVB, and then we also have the basking bulbs up on top to keep their temperatures appropriate. Now, down here this is our salt water uh we're actually we just our buddy joe rockwell actually just built this stand for us uh we did have all these tanks on these racks and it it was just reptiles we and we tried drilling the 75 to move it out there because this was the plan overall and the 75 broke uh, during drilling and that is nothing to do with us the fact that we didn't know where the tank came from and yeah it and, and we can do a whole video on drilling tanks because it should have been marked and it wasn't and so and we've drilled 75s before and it was fine but 
this one wasn't marked and it clearly showed it it blew out and shattered so um we had to <laughs> accommodate more but as you can see so these are saltwater tanks we're waiting for this one to get uh a uh sand put in it because uh, we want that beneficial bacteria the light i guess it helps if i turn the light on but you can see we have new coral frags that are in here and then um, when this one's up and going and gets cycled then uh, this one will be for incoming fish for salt water but and then down here as you can see we have nobody in quarantine because we don't have any fish that need quarantined um, but again uh, if you have a freshwater tank and you bring outside sources or fish from the outside um, you want to make sure to quarantine them before they go in your tanks but these are just in case uh, we get a fish that comes in on a shipment that's sick or doesn't look good we want to make sure and it's easier to treat them in a small tank like this versus out with other fish because then let's say, say they have a bacterial issue it could transfer to your other fish and you just don't want that um, because it'll make your whole tank sick. Now, how we accomplish this is, so we have one air pump down there. I can actually adjust it on uh, this Aquatop air pump. And then we also have splitters right here. And the splitters are so that we can adjust the airflow. And key example right here, this tank isn't running, so we have air pressure over here. Obviously up top, we don't need the airlines, but yeah. So do I need a quarantine? Yes, you do. It is good practice, not only in freshwater, saltwater, but also in the reptile world. This keeps your animals healthy, safe, and uh, free of infections or anything like that. And let's say that you do have a big setup, a lot of reptiles, and one of them does fall sick. Well. If you keep it on the floor or keep it in your, your showroom, then there's the chance that whatever that animal has could pass to your other animals. So it's just good practice. And make sure that when you do a quarantine area, make sure it's an entirely different room than what your other animals are in. Now, fish and salt water, it's not a big deal. They can be in the same room, but reptiles especially, make sure that they're in a different room. Also, you can see like we have our scorpion. Now with cold weather, it's getting a little bit cold out there and we haven't built the new setup for all the quarantine or for uh, all the arachnids. And so we brought the death stalker scorpion in here so that he can stay warm. We also have this rack here in case we need anything additional or put any uh, arachnids or what have you in here. And then as you can see, we have our isopods up here, but they're just for breeding stock. Uh, we're, we're letting our colonies grow out. But I hope this was informative, guys. Uh, I wanted to put this out, especially with the holiday season coming up. We wanna make sure to keep you guys safe as well as your animals. And uh, this covered all three uh, realms that we deal in and that most people deal in. So as always, guys, thank you for tuning in. We will do a video the day after Christmas and we got something special lined up for you so make sure to stick around for that if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing thanks to you guys you know our channel is growing each and every day and uh, leave us down in the comment uh, section down below tell us what your thoughts are if you have a quarantine rack show us pictures show us what you do that way other people can learn and other people can grow from it as always guys, the big question, your tank or mine?